Yo, yeah, 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 How yeah. About them cowboys. Them okay. cowboys. Woo! Okay, this is a uh, Nova trifecta. I am Jimmy Fedora, aka Alias. Uh, fucking cowboys. <laughs> Rashad, aka Mag Negro. I told y'all boys, them cowboys coming this year. I'm just playing. I don't know. You don't know week to week what cowboys gonna do. What's up, Nova trifecta? This is Kendall, aka Big Boy Troy. All right, and we have two special guests. Our first guest. No, we uh, have two guests. We have two guests. They're not special? Blake special. Okay. We have two special guests. Uh, we have Blake, uh, Blake Chadwell, and we have the uh, infamous Christian Dane. The incomparable. <laughs> the immeasurable. The undeniable, <laughs> the irresistible, That's the amazing. unmistakable, Christian <laughs> Day. Yeah. I want to be introduced like that every time. I might actually use that sound clip in a in a song or something like that. That's amazing. <laughs> Say hello to the people, Christian and Blake. Hello, people. What's up, people? What's up? It's Christian Dane, aka Christian Dane. How y'all doing? Damn, I've never heard of aka. Repeat itself, Christian Dane, aka Christian Dane. <laughs> That's how good the name is. Damn, we gonna we gonna we gonna let that old dry uh, introduction by Blake go. Ain't nobody hey. gonna say nothing because it didn't have no flavor. <laughs> I didn't need it. Oh man, the people, the people, <laughs> the people are gonna love me regardless. It don't matter. If I, I I don't I have to do all this flashy. I they gonna love me. Make it do I what it do. All yeah. right. Well, the first topic we are gonna cover today. Because we are avid gamers, uh, me, Christian, and Blake are part of one of the best pro am teams out there on 2K. If not the best, I know top 50, you know, uh, <laughs> on 2K. But we're gonna get into some gaming, uh, Xbox and PlayStation. What are you guys going to cop? I already know, but I want you guys to tell the people. I go first. Uh, you can most go likely cop in the uh, the Xbox. Um, fuck PlayStation. You already know what time it is, man. Xbox all day. You've been doing this for too long. Hmm. What about you, Bleedy Blake? Well, I'm going to go ahead and say the Xbox throwing up the X's. I mean, there ain't no way that I would get a gay station for, oh. for that kind of money. <laughs> not doing it. That's fine. Not doing it. What about you guys? That boy yeah. homophobic. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. What no, about you, Shad and Kendall? Um, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to see. See. Oh, now, hell. Now, see. <laughs> It's been different for me ever since my parents stopped buying video game systems for me. Now I'm Whoa, you old enough to purchase your own gaming system. Yeah, yeah, but see the thing that comes with age is I'm old enough to purchase it if I want it bad enough. <laughs> now I used to get stuff even if I didn't want it because somebody else was getting it for me. Now I got to actually want it bad enough to get it. That's my relationship with Jays, too. If I want them enough, I'll go get them. So if I do want it enough, I'll go get a PlayStation. What do I feel like you're yelling at the camera so visibly? I do, right? like, the you, well, the, well, you feel like that, Christian, because that's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> I got you. Okay, I wasn't sure if that was the effect you were going for. I didn't know if you should listen tentatively or just square up with you. It was rough just now. <laughs> I'm screaming. I'm screaming. Okay. You got the message across, though. You got what the message about, across. What about you, Campbell? Yeah, um, I, I'm to be honest with you, I'm probably going to get one of each. I have two sons. One is extremely diehard Xbox, and the other one loves the PlayStation. So, more than likely, I, um, I'm going to get both. You know, if I had to pick, I. If I personally was picking just to buy it for me, then I would probably just pick the Xbox. But having two sons, one loves PlayStation, one loves Xbox. So, you know. And he's straight, by the way, Blake. He's not gay. (laughs) (laughs) Blake don't catch a lot of heat for that homophobic comment. Come on, man. Get out. (laughs) No, don't worry. He hears that all he hears that all the time from his brother. So, you know, it's nothing neat. Hey, Juicy, is that the Blinkity Blake from the song? Yeah, that's Blinkity yeah. Blake from the song. Okay, from okay, okay. Blinkity Blake. Okay, what up, Blinkity Blake? Okay. Not much, man. Not much. <laughs> Chilling. Your reputation perceives you. 
I'm waiting for I'm waiting for Cavassier Smoke to have his first big game next weekend against uh, Auburn. There, hopefully, oh, yeah. Uh, we, yeah, we I get hope a, he has a hell of a game. You yeah, know, screw Auburn. Yeah. So none of y'all gonna cop the PlayStation. I, I, me personally, of course, I'm getting me a PlayStation. No, I said if I get it, I'll get the PlayStation. Are you gonna get the PlayStation? Yeah, I, mean, I yeah, told I you. I, I told you what I'm doing. You know, I. I can't let my kids watch this now, but yes, one's getting a PlayStation for Christmas. The other one's getting an Xbox. Okay, okay. Me personally, I'm getting I'm getting the Xbox. It's two different um, versions of the Xbox. It's uh, Series S and Series X. I mean, Series S and Series X, I believe. Yeah. Um, it's a three hundred dollar one and a five hundred dollar yes. one. Uh, which one? Which one you think we should get, uh, uh, Levi? Juicy, how come you look like you're in a dungeon? Because I am. I mean, I mean, you're good. <laughs> oh, oh, you in the gutter? Yeah, the trenches, <laughs> the real trenches. I'm in a cave. Uh, <laughs> that cave. Iron Man. I'm oh, probably yeah. going to cheaper Xbox personally because I'm cheap like that. Um, if they do the same thing and only difference is like the quality of it, the way it looks, I'm going with cheaper. Uh, it's just the way it is, man. Ain't gonna, it ain't gonna kill me either way. Well, that's the dilemma with me because I don't know. What's gonna be the difference for? Is it just a memory, or is it? I think it, it in one, it, it in one set up for four K, and the other one it in. Yeah. You Probably. know, so like that's what I. I mean, I've I've already had this discussion with my wife. It makes no sense for us to buy the five hundred dollar version when he doesn't have a four K mm-hmm. TV. So, you know, we're going with the cheaper yeah. version. Uh, you know. That's just that's that, that's just us. I mean, when you have as many kids as we do, we we try to find the cheapest route. <laughs> there is no. Yeah, you guys route, have a but, lot of sex. You know. <laughs> that was wildly inappropriate. <laughs> For real. <laughs> yeah. I personally, I'm going with the uh, the more expensive version myself. Uh, yeah, it, it's supposed to have uh, more memory, more uh, like a faster processor, things like that. Uh, plus, you know. Uh, in a few years, whenever some of these uh, television stuff like that start upgrading, uh, you know, it's going to be caught up with the times already. Uh, and if you get the cheaper system, I think you might be uh, you might be doing yourself a disservice in, in the long run. But yeah. I don't know. That's, that's, that's a shot at Christian. Basically, Blake just said, Broke bitches be quiet. That's what I heard. I mean, I, 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 the whole time he was talking, he like broke bitch be quiet. That's all I heard. I didn't see that. That was a yeah. that was a direct jab at Christian. I felt yeah, it. Sure. I felt it. Damn, I agree. Yeah. I agree to a certain extent. You know, I, I what I like about the Xbox, um, which I'm gonna get the five hundred dollar. Uh, what I like about the Xbox, they're making it affordable. Um, for one, you can finance it. And for the uh, three hundred dollar one, I can't. I don't know if it's Series S or Series X. I'm confusing. But the three hundred dollar one, you can finance for two years for like twenty seven dollars a month. And then the five hundred dollar one, you can finance for two years for like thirty five dollars a month. So it's you ain't gonna get it the next. You ain't gonna get yeah. it the next year. No, no, no. I mean, you could, but but that, but you can come out this finance, year, November. You can literally finance anything these days. Yeah, but I anything. think the smart the smart thing about that is. You're getting as many consoles you can in houses. And, you know, you'll make your money on the back end with games and add-ons oh, yeah. and all that good stuff. So if you can get the consoles in the house, because it's a war between PlayStation and Xbox, and, and Xbox is winning, you know, obviously. But uh, wow. if you can get as many consoles as you can in every house, you can win that war. The only thing I say PlayStation has over Xbox currently is the original they game. They're a better system. No, the original the game. Like the I, I think – I think they got better exclusive games, don't they? That's it. That's what I'm saying. They got better exclusive yeah. games. Yeah. They got the Spider-Man, which looks sick. I'm not even gonna lie. The Spider-Man really looks sick. No, it's not better graphics either. So the uh, one game I love, I, the one game I love quality. playing on that PlayStation is that the Major League Show, MLB the Show. Oh, that's trash. You know, it's exclusive to the PlayStation. That's trash too. <laughs> I don't like. I don't like how y'all all just turned your back on PlayStation, and that's what we grew up with. Xbox is better. Like. Xbox has better, better, it has the better competition. Even if you're playing Call of Duty, like when it's cross platform, the PlayStation players are ass. Like so ass. Also, too, like when it when it like I get what you're saying, but like so PlayStation 2 was out whenever Xbox uh, the original Xbox came out. Yeah. 
Uh, and the only way you could connect to internet uh, on the PlayStation 2 was through the phone line. So, and Xbox was the first one to really bring in the high speed internet aspect. So if you had high speed internet, you could actually play a good game. But if you had the PlayStation 2, you couldn't play anybody online at all. And that's one thing that like Xbox has consistently outdone PlayStation on their online services. Like uh, PlayStation has a lot more downtime than Xbox does, which Xbox does have downtime, but PlayStation's always had the uh, a, a longer extent and more problems. And also, uh, as far as security goes, uh, Xbox, Microsoft has a lot better security than Sony does. Because it's, as as it's simply, it's better. You yeah. know, I don't know why Shy putting up a little fight like, like he actually gained. Only because I grew up with PlayStation and it's nostalgic for me. That man's loyal is what he's saying. He's a loyal. When, when I think about PlayStation, I go all the way back to Crash Bandicoot and, you know, uh, NBA Live 97. 97? Those were my, my first, right. <laughs> those, those first loves, man. So I got it. And then PlayStation 2 came out, and it was my love. And then PlayStation 3 came out, and it was my love. So the only one I ain't got is PlayStation 4. So, I mean. Oh, damn. But I have been out of gaming for a while. I don't know why, what made me get out of it, but I have been out for a Because you had to start paying for it, man. I had to yeah. start paying for it. That's what it was. And, you know. You probably, oh, you probably behind the curve real bad. Like you couldn't even play with us. Like we wouldn't even let you play with us. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't even understand how it works with the internet and everything. Like that's how far out of it I am. <laughs> oh, awesome. oh, man. Since you, uh, since you in the uh, reminiscing mode, uh, I won't because Christian got to go. He got some ball head hoe shit. He got to go do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I want y'all to give me a Mount Rushmore. Uh, a Mount Rushmore of y'all games, like four. If you don't, if you don't know what Mount, Mount Rushmore is, if the people don't know what Mount Rushmore is, give me the four best games you played all. Y'all got, some, y'all got, y'all got some dumb audience. Tell you that right now. <laughs> You'll be surprised. This is Walker County. <laughs> you can't diss the folks, Juice. In there. Oh, I can diss them. Be a part of what we got going on. And not going to their houses every day for work. <laughs> and they are not too bright. Uh, for, uh, Mount Rushmore games. So this is going all the way back. So can I just do like a whole chain of like games together? Like it was like God of War instead of me saying like God of War one or two. Can I just say God? Yeah, of War? you can go see. Yeah, it. absolutely. Oh, I thought you was just. I thought we was doing systems. Are we doing games? Yeah, Mount Rushmore of games. Oh, like actual okay. titles. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, all right, let me think, man. So, of course, you got to put Street Fighter in there. Street Fighter was huge when I was a little kid. Um, played that for hours. NBA Live, because even though I love 2Ks now, like Sean was saying, NBA Live back in the day, that's all you had for basketball games. So, it was epic. I mean, that's where all, everybody played NBA Live. Um, number three, I got to go with 2K. Because as of now, man, we played we, – we put some fucking hours in 2K, man. It's ridiculous how much 2K we play. And then four – this is tough. Fourth game on the Mount Rushmore games. I'd probably have to say the Final Fantasy series. Oh, okay. I played a lot of that as well. I think between all those four games, I probably spent most of my uh, most of my life playing those games. Final Fantasy was off the chain. Yeah, that's definitely. A good, that's a good uh, Mount Rushmore right there. Uh, Blake, go ahead and give us your Mount Rushmore games. <clears throat> I'd have to throw Mario in there. Uh you know, I my I played a lot of the SNES, uh, Super Mario Brothers. I, I, that was my favorite game growing up. Uh, and then when it came on the Nintendo 64, I thought that was the craziest shit ever. I thought that game was was like nothing we'd ever seen. So I'm gonna put wow, Mario on there. Crazy. Uh, then uh, the UFC games. I, I really like the the fighting games. Uh, it'd be hard for me not to say fight not to. Because I got them hands, you know, I got to hey. get in there and With the swing a couple fists in there, and uh, <laughs> hopefully they, they land. So we'll count both of those. Uh, 2K, of course, uh, like like Mr. Dane has already stated, uh, we spend several hours of our time uh, mastering our craft and becoming the greatest <laughs> in the world. Oh, man. <laughs> and then uh, for my last one, uh, Assassin's Creed probably – 
uh, my favorite game series of all time. Uh, that's one of those games that, you know, you can't play online, but, you know, there's there's so much little side stuff and, and quests and things like that. You get it, you get involved, you can, you can make a, a day out of it for sure. Actually, they have modes now that you can play online. So they have like um, – where you have uh, – you can run four assassins at a time and you can do missions together and things of that nature. But, like, it's actually an online uh, gameplay for Assassin's Creed now. I'm a single assassin. I just – I like <laughs> one assassin, not four. Uh, but if, if if I had it my way, I would always just go solo and try to kill everyone myself. Duly noted. Duly noted. All right, uh, yeah, <clears throat> Rayshad. Uh, I'm going to go with – Pod racing on oh, the Nintendo 64. <laughs> I'm going to go with pod racing. Oh, all my older childhood games. I'm going with pod racing on the Nintendo 64. Um, I used to get to take it to school every day. We played and study all everybody. Um, so that's number four. Number three would be NFL 2K. Because that's when Randy Moss started catching the ball out of midair with one arm. Um then I'm going to go NCAA 2006 because that was when Reggie Bush was juking everybody on the game. He was OP on the game. Yeah. Yeah, he was. He was. He was full power. You know how uh, bad you got to be in real life for them to put a move in. The, they didn't have a back juke yeah. on the video games until Reggie yeah. did that against Fresno State. Yeah, Reggie started doing it. They changed the video game. That's how Randy Moss made them change when they did NFL 2K. And I'm talking about on Sega Dreamcast, the first one. Uh, a lot of people don't know that that's where 2K come from, is the Sega Dreamcast. Right. So I'm go I'm going with Pirate Racing. Um, what the fuck is Pirate Racing? Pirate Racing, Star Wars Pirate Racing on the Nintendo 64. I ain't had that one. You ain't had that? You have that one where they were like flying. I'm not even a Star Wars fan. Oh, it was off the that. chain. I, just, no, I don't yeah. remember that. I used to play that every day. Uh, I've been that good. It was good. It was good. Okay, so I said pod racing, um, NFL 2K, um, NCAA 2006, and then I'm going to go with uh, Lord of the Rings, the two towers on PlayStation 2. Oh, no, that, that's a good one. That's an underrated yeah. one. That's a good one right yeah. there. Yeah, you? that's my favorite all-time game. And Marcus Reese stole it. And I ain't seen it <laughs> Man. And he know who he is. And I'm going to call him after this. Last. <laughs> Look at my games, man. What about you, Kendall? Um, So, for me, it would be the NCAA. I'm just playing. He didn't steal it. I let him borrow it. I'm just playing. The um, My Mount Rushmore is going to be the NCAA football, the franchise. I had I, – everyone that came out, I got it. I love that game. They should really start making it again. Uh, the Madden franchise, I loved all the Madden games. Um, and then taking a little old school on the Super Nintendo, one of my favorite games of all time would be Ken Griffey Jr.'s winning run. I mean, I wore that game out. I loved it, you know. Um, and then um, I'm going to go back to the PlayStation with um, – Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Mm. Man, I was so close to putting that one in there. I was so yeah. close. There's so many good games, though. There are so many good games. I mean, but those are mine. The NCAA footballs, all of them. The Madden football games, all those. I, I play mostly sports games, so that's why it's got so many. You know, Tiger Woods, His all his golf games are so good. Um the NFL Blitz on the Nintendo 64, that was such a good game. I mean, there's so many good. But my top four is NCAA football franchise, Madden football franchise, King Griffey Jr.'s winning run, and uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Cool, cool, cool. All right, well, mine's uh, – uh, my Mount Rushmore, the first one would be Goldeneye. Uh, that's a game that's a all of us played as kids. That's a good one. Uh, you know, you get odd job and you go crazy. That's a cheat code. Everybody yeah. know our job was a cheat code. Uh, yep. My second uh, Mount Rushmore, it's actually a series. It'll be a Devil May Cry series. Um, well, I remember it, sitting up sitting up on the hill watching you and Derek play that game exactly. all night. That, thumbs down? You didn't like Devil May Cry, Blake? I hated it. What? Hated it. That's yeah. crazy. Me and Derek beat Devil May Cry. It's either two or three. I want to say Devil May Cry 3. We beat it in one night. 
And you can't. I'll that, watch, no, it's, I'll watch that's one of those games. play that game all night at your in your room. Literally a whole it, night. Like Devil May Cry was like that first game, like God of War. There'd be some kind of puzzle you'd have to solve before you could jump up or something. I hated that shit. It was yeah. I, I was I was too stupid back then to play that game. <laughs> the third one would be uh actually God of War. Uh, God of War introduced uh, the system. If you play games a lot, you know what I'm talking about. When you uh, in combat, if you're in a battle, you got to press X, then B, then Y, then A. That's one of the first games that did that, and that was a game changer because all the games do it now. You know, uh, bat- if you play the Batman series, you know they they cop that a lot. So uh, the God of War series, it was different. I mean, it was different. And uh, the last one would be actually 2K. We play too much. Me and these guys, uh, me, Christian, and Blake, we, we, we put some hours in the 2K. And like I said, we got the best, you know, team, you know, out here. Me, Christian, Blake. Like I said, if you heard run around, you already know, TJ and uh, and, Sna- and Jeremiah. But, Blake um, and Blake. But, yeah, and I'm going to throw an honorable mention in there, but I just haven't played it because it, it went downhill. But Madden, I used to be the best Madden player around here. Madden NCAA, I'm going to couple them together. But anybody around these parts know I'm once. legendary. I beat him once. I beat him. Yo, it's hey, like I gotta change. I gotta change one on mine. Go ahead. I gotta change my number three, uh, from NFL 2K to NBA 2K. You you like you like NBA 2K? Oh yeah, that was when the Lakers in Portland went to the uh, Western Conference Finals, and Kobe did the crossover in the alley hoop the Shaq. That was me and Michael used to do that. Uh, I was the Lakers, he was Portland all of the time. Okay. That was back when I used to be able to take my – my teacher used to let me bring my video, my Sega Dreamcast to class. And at study hall, we used to sit there and play it. Like, every every dude in the class was up there playing it. So, them games mean a lot to me that started on Sega Dreamcast. Right. So, I got to change my number three pick to NBA 2K instead of NFL 2K. And I'm keeping the rest of mine intact. And, and it's hard to pick four, you know, and then these four off the cuff. I'm pretty sure when yeah. we get off here, we're going to think, oh, shit. You know, what about that one? But Yeah, because I had to leave off Crash Bandicoot and Sonic, and that exactly. hurt my spirit. Exactly. All that right, hurt well, my spirit. That's what we're going to wrap up. Shout out to Toe uh, Jam and Earl. I don't know if y'all remember that game. I forgot about Sky. that game. Yo, that shit was yeah, – yeah, I remember that. That's what an honorable mention. Toe Jam and Earl. I don't remember that one. I remember Toe Jam and Earl. Yeah, that shit was nuts. And Super Mortal Smash Bros. That's Man, one that – and Soul Calibur, the them hard games to leave off. All right, but we're gonna wrap up the game. We're gonna wrap up the game in a segment. Uh, we gotta let uh, Christian Dane go. Like I say, he gotta go do some ball head whole shit. Uh, you wanna say anything to the people before you get out of here? Anything you wanna promote? Because you know we wrap up. Uh, make sure y'all um, subscribe and follow me, Nova Trifecta man. Make sure y'all follow the whole page, the whole movement man. I appreciate y'all having me, and uh, I'm gonna catch, catch up with y'all next time. Do you have any? That was that was Christian Dane cool. Too cool. Do you have any music? Do you want to say something about music to the people? Uh, nah, man. You know, man, got run around. Single still going strong, man. Make sure y'all check it out. Current climate, man. It's all over there. For summers, thirty for thirty, all that good stuff, man. Follow the Instagram Taco page. Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. All the they all hits, man. Follow. Make sure you get up with us. Do Christian Dane just? Hey, I, I, I got a question. I got a question before Dane gets off here. You still watch a little bit of wrestling? I still do watch a little bit of wrestling. How weird is it now that the crowd ain't there? That's kind of why I, I kind of fell off with it a little bit, man. The crowd kind of makes wrestling for me. Like, you already know wrestling's fake. But when it's, like, no crowd, you really see how yeah. fake it is. It's kind of depressing when you're in your 30s. Yeah. Like, man, this shit's yeah. this is rough. Yeah. I should this is sad. It, yeah. I mean, my my kid, my kids don't even – they they they've stopped really I, – I don't know if it's – I think I think it goes back to what you said. Like, without the crowd, you see how really – Cheesy some of it is how really scripted yeah. it is and the, i mean and plus my kids are getting older but you know like yeah we've kind of fell off the wagon i, I haven't watched wrestling in a long time yeah. you know so all right well, all right all right fellas man y'all take it easy man good luck with everything thank you for all right Christian, on, Dane, be good bro all right love you bro love you oh god how you leave <laughs> All right, moving, <laughs> moving on to the next topic um we had a, a classic meltdown the clippers will be the clippers the clippers will clip they will choke um they lost to the Denver nuggets in game seven by 20 what they gagged man 
who's responsible? What do you guys think? Give me your thoughts. Starting with Shy, because you long winded. Uh, well, like they trash. They always been trash. <laughs> they always been trash. I don't understand why everybody was like so high on the Clippers all year anyway. We kept saying the only reason why I was a little bit scared of the Clippers, being a Laker fan, the only reason I was a little bit scared is because Kawhi has been on a championship team twice. Doc Rivers has won a championship before. And so they got guys that know what it takes to win a championship. And they per they seem to have a personal vendetta against LeBron. Doc has always done pretty well against LeBron in the past. Kawhi can kind of bother LeBron a little bit. And they've got some depth. But I forgot the Paul George fact. <laughs> and, the Paul, and Paul George showed up as only Paul George <laughs> and <laughs> Playoff P. Playoff P. Show, playoff P. Rid his head, his ugly head again. But mm. to be honest with you, I don't want to be hard on Paul, uh, Paul George. Pause. Uh, because no, Paul George. No, because Paul was over there laughing with Paul Beverly, uh, Patrick <laughs> Beverly, when old Dame Lillard. You he know, was. You can't cool break. He, no. he was. He deserved the only, it all the that only, Well, the only reason why I, I don't want to be too hard on him, pause, is because uh, he said he was going through some mental issues. And uh, you don't know what – Well, you don't know said, what people – Stack well, you don't said, know what – you don't know what people be going through, though. So I don't, I ain't said going. that they just complained and they knew they was gonna lose. You gotta suck it up and go. Well, and I don't want to. I just don't. I don't want to touch that because the man said he had some mental issues going on. I don't want to touch that. He, yeah, I think, he probably did. I just yeah, think yeah. Bad. I don't, don't want to because you up there in that bubble, you away from your family. You know, some people can handle it, some people can't. Maybe but, he had some some other <laughs> personal stuff going on. So I don't want to touch that. You away from your family. But you're getting paid millions of dollars to play basketball. You in the you in the state of the art bubble. It's the safest place, probably in, in America, to be at. Everybody getting tested in and out. You got five star restaurants. You got a you got a um you got a barber in there. You got everything that you. But there's no girls. They family down there in round two. So it ain't. Yeah, no but there's no girls. They they can have people come down there in round two. You get paid millions of dollars. Yeah, but there's no girls. So, what does that mean? I mean, like, you got to bust it down and do it. There's no girls. I don't believe that. I think that's a secret. Yeah, they done brought some girls inside, in. I got an inside, I've got an inside source that said there was things and places they could go to to find and have their needs that's, met. That's not so, true. You don't have an inside source. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just playing. I don't have an inside source. I really no. Uh, uh, hey, let me. Hey, yeah, let me. Uh, let me. It? Let who me finish my uh my rant on the Clippers real quick. Real quick. <laughs> I, do do we think that Doc Rivers is a tad bit overrated? Look, Doc Rivers didn't have some really good yes. squads, man, and he squandered some three one leads. I think two or three in the past. He won one championship, yeah. then he lost the other one to Kobe and Gasol. But he had really good teams all through the two thousands. He hadn't even made it to the Western Conference Finals. You know what, shot? He didn't have Dude. a really good team. He had great teams. He had he great teams Lobby. with great players. Yeah, he had some great, great teams players. with great players. Yeah. And you can't – and you the great – you spoke – a lot of people team. think that he's the best coach in the NBA or at least right behind Pop. And you can't make it to the Western Conference Finals with those great teams that you've had. You've had great players now. So, I mean – I support Doc because I support black coaches, but is he a little bit overrated? I always have thought Playoff P was a little bit overrated, and I think that Kawhi Leonard a little overrated. You can go back and listen to the first podcast. I told you he was a little overrated <laughs> with his crazy looking self. I told you, I told you he was a little bit overrated, and I think he is just a little. He's a great player, but I told you he's got two weird Finals MVPs. I'm just playing about him being crazy looking. I'm far more crazy looking than Kawhi. But I'm saying that he, I, I do think he's got the two weirdest finals MVPs of all time. And so I never thought he was on LeBron's level. And it don't look like he is because LeBron failed a couple of times in the playoffs, but he had he wasn't the MVP when he was failing like that. 
either. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Blake, what you think about the Clippers collapse? So I'm, I'm gonna have to. I think Doc Rivers, man. I, I think he's a great coach, great mind, but he was gift wrapped. He was gift wrapped to great teams. Yeah. Uh, yep. You know the the conglomerate that they got in uh, in uh, Boston. That was that was. I mean, he was first year. I think whenever he got that those three players, he was given that. Or he had Paul Pierce maybe and then for a couple of years, but but he was given that team. And uh he was given the Clippers this year. And I don't think that that Doc is good at developing players. I think that that's one of his uh downfalls is that he's not a, a great uh you know, someone to build players. He but if he has good players, he knows how to get them in line. Uh so I get so you're saying like Pretty much the teams that he had, the players was already like who they, they are. They were already seasoned. But since that. he had them, they don't yeah. develop to something to an, another step. Right? Yeah, he's not. He's not taking That's them anywhere else. He's leaving them. He's leaving. When you got playoff P and you got Kawhi Leonard and you got, you know, all these different players, they're they they were accustomed to playing a certain way, and he didn't try to develop it into well, this isn't the Paul George show anymore. This is not the Kawhi Leonard show, and he kind of just threw them in together and said, well, you all play basketball. We'll see how this I think, works out. I think Blake's trying to say he's the Gus Malzahn of the NBA basketball. <laughs> I wouldn't do it right like that. Well, did Gus, Gus got a chip. Gus, Gus won a, a chip when he was an offensive as, coordinator. When as we an had offensive Newton. coordinator, but he had Cam Newton, one of the best football seasons by a college athlete we've ever seen. He's done nothing with talent that's come in there since as far as quarterback and offensive wise. Well, I think I think that what that what we need to take from this is that it's a lot harder to do what Steve Kerr, Phil Jackson and Greg Popovich do than people yeah. think. It's difficult to get yeah. that kind of talented roster and put them together and make them win. And but those you know coaches those? those coaches know how to make those teams win immediately. It don't take no time. You know what though, Sean? That go kind of back what the Blake saying. Even though you know Steve Kerr stepped in, he still developed those guys. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. It's a yeah. lot that he did. That's what I'm that saying. Did. Yeah, yeah. And, and now that I think about it, do those players get better under Doc? Do they evolve? Do they take a step forward? Yeah. Because now that I think about it, I'm sitting here thinking about it. They really don't. He set that a whole series, and he we gonna do what we do, while while other teams you you um. You 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 adjust your game plan. I feel like he didn't adjust the game plan. Yeah. But hey, yeah, also, I, I, I I know that as soon as Phil Jackson got to Chicago, he pretty much started winning. As soon as as soon as Phil Jackson got Kobe and Shaq, he started winning. As soon as Pop got a hold of Tim Duncan and had Tim and David Robinson, he started winning. As soon as Steve Kerr got a hold of Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, and Draymond Green. He started winning. The really great ones figure it out, and they figure it out fast. And Dockton had great teams. Phil Jackson would have won six championships with the teams he had. <laughs> he I definitely would have won the, with the Lob City team. They had now that's if now that's if we have Doc in that ilk, like we mentioned him. But they now, they got him. It's fair a, if we take him out of that ilk, then it's fair. I they mean, hold him in that regard. You can't say you can't say that he's the one of the best coaches, which he is one of the best coaches in the league, but you can't give him that right behind uh, pop, you know, ranking if he keep doing this. Just like Brad Stevens. Brad Stevens is a good coach, but everybody I hear about every year, he's one of the best coaches in the league, but we see them fizzle out in the playoffs. So but at uh, least they get to the Eastern Conference Finals. And at least they, you got at least they babies. They don't have like, – they, they baby stars. He always have baby stars – that's got to take another step before right. they get to where they're ready. They develop. Doc be having seasoned veteran superstars. You're yeah. right, because they're developing under the uh, yeah. Celtics. I see them taking yeah. steps. That's real interesting, because I never, ever thought about teams not developing under Doc. Yeah. I, think Blake's, I, I think Blake's right on the money with that. Because Pop, I mean, if, if... Pop developed Mono Ginobili, uh, Tony Parker. He had a part of de developing Kawhi Leonard. Uh, he managed and developed Tim Duncan. Uh, you know, I mean, I think he's right on the money with that. They, they, the players just don't develop 
like they need to develop. I mean, he's had two of arguably the greatest rosters in basketball, and yes, he won one championship with the Celtics, but I mean, he also lost one. And I, I just, but I mean, if we, if as a Laker fan, if we aren't missing Andrew Bynum in two thousand and eight, I don't know if Doc wins that one. That's true. And then you got you got KG, you got Paul Pierce and Ray Allen still prime. People try to act like they weren't in their prime. Yeah, they were. They were still in their prime in 08. And if we'd have had Andrew Bottom, I think we would have won that series too. So I don't know. That's another, true. Another, I hate another to say thing that about, about that. Doc, because Doc a black coach and I support black coaches. And I like Doc Rivers. I, I mean, I think I, that speech he gave the other day was phenomenal. So I look I love Doc Rivers, so I hate to say anything I mean, scathing about him. I mean, but just he may be a tad bit overrated. I mean, we're talking about his coaching skills. We're not talking about him as a person. Him as a person, he's a great guy. I su I mean, he gave a great speech. He's right, you know, he's you know I, I see what you're saying, you know. Like you Blake Blake, did you have something else to say on that? Yeah, I but I, I just don't want to take away from uh the Denver Nuggets organization either. Oh they're yeah. uh yeah. They're definitely uh, developing great talent yeah. there. Uh, yeah. And, you know, they that's uh, that's an organization that struggled ever since they got rid of, you know, the Chauncey, Allen, Allen Iverson, and Carmelo. You know, they struggled for a while, and it seems like they're starting to get back on track uh, yeah. with the players they're drafting and developing. I think that they got a, they got a very bright future. They got the uh, but, but you know what, though, as you say that, it – at, yeah, we want to give Denver credit, but L.A. lost that. The Clippers lost that series. Yeah, they did. They, they, did. they shot themselves. That last game, they shot themselves out of that game. Yeah. All they had to do, they could have held that ball and just not and, – and just played good defense. And and they just took dumbass shots that fourth quarter, and it lost them that game. Kawhi, that was, looked, yeah. Kawhi looked tired. Like, I, yeah. I don't know. They – they just that, that they blew that. They were up three one, and not only were they up three one, but they were dominating most of those games. Oh yeah, and they allowed them to come back. Yeah, they NBA players. They gonna come back if you let them. But I mean, I didn't think that they was gonna make it to the conference finals. I said that. But I, actually, my which my pick is holding up. Everybody knows that knows me. I picked Miami versus LA, and you know they looked at me crazy when I said Miami. But I thought the Clippers weren't gonna make it simply because we was. I'm not going to say we. The world was giving them this respect like they had won something. Like the 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 the, the team, like we seen uh, Lemon Pepper Lou go off in the playoffs, you know, or we seen playoff P just rise to the occasion. They thought they was going to plug and play and build off last year since they took the, uh, the, the Warriors to, what, six games? They thought they was going to build off of that, and it doesn't work like that. I just yeah. didn't believe in that team. Yeah. I don't see what everybody was so scared of. I'm like, Paul George, the same Paul George who had five points last year in a yeah. game, like, we supposed to be scared of him? Yeah. I'm looking at the landscape. I'm like, it's some really good fucking teams in the Western Conference. So you just yeah. can't elevate them. They got to prove it. And the fact that they're not, they're not practicing. They're not uh, getting, building team chemistry. Uh, people missing games. Y'all haven't won a championship. And these guys coming late to the bubble, you think you're going to plug and play. It don't work like that. People got way too high on Kawhi because of last year, even though he beat a hobble, hobble, hobble Golden State team. Uh, that's why I call that Finals MVP weird because it's a weird old Finals MVP. And uh, they got too high on Kawhi Leonard. And anybody that threatens LeBron, people going to jump on the bandwagon. So people just wanted them to beat LeBron. That's all that is. But they can't beat him. All right. Well, go Lakers, um, go Heat. Um, we're gonna move on to the next topic. If you got, you guys have anything else to say about that? The NBA. You good? Nah, we good. Lakers, Lakers and Heat in the finals. Lakers. Lakers want to give a shout out to your Kentucky boys that's left in the playoffs. Yeah, we got Jamal Murray, <laughs> uh, and then we got uh, Tyler Harrow, Bam Adebayo. I'm sure there's more. Anthony Davis, Rondo, all of them. Uh, you know, it's it's looking good for the state. I think we're going to get a championship this year. <laughs> uh, I hope the Lakers win, but if they don't, fuck it. <laughs> Heat, I'm, I'm cool with that too. All right, all right. 
Well, we gonna move a uh, topic. Hey, right, I got to I got to give a shout out, man. I think Eric Spolster is doing a phenomenal oh, job. Phenomenal job, yeah. I mean, I, we all thought I I had always thought that Eric Spolster was just. I, I just thought, man, this dude can't coach. He's just got three yeah. great superstars. That's the only reason he got his championships. But man, he is doing a heck of a job. So I, I gotta I gotta give him his props on that, man. Yeah, Eric Spolster is doing a great job. He developing talent. I mean, he got yeah, guys yeah. that is undrafted, undrafted uh, playing Start. big minutes and uh, second round draft picks, and then the Eastern yeah. Finals up two to one. Uh, you know, you just look over the years; they develop players down there in Miami. So shout out to uh, Spo. Uh, yeah, Spo, great coach. So let's go on to our last topic. Uh, something I do not want to talk about really uh, about these fucking Cowboys. So y'all go ahead and take this segment away with the, the two <laughs> Cowboy fans. Hey man, how about them hey, Cowboys? How about them, man? We played like garbage and tried to do everything we could to give that game. I'm I'm sorry. I I don't know. I think I'm trusting politicians more than I trust Dan Quinn with a uh, with the lead. <laughs> I mean, he choked. That's he terrible. Choked. I mean, do. they need to just start. start they need to start all of their games down twenty-one zero so they can play comeback. Uh, the Falcons because they cannot keep a lead. They cannot, man. It's a lot know. of pressure to keep a lead all Crazy. game long, though. That's a yeah. it's a lot of pressure when you get up real early, I mean, and you got pros now. They coming back. So I mean, look at look at what I mean. I don't know if y'all got a TV close by, but the Chargers pretty much was in control of the game, and now they're they're you know, it's a the Chiefs finally exploded. You know. Um, but, well, the Cowboys. The Cowboys. I'm just so glad just, football. I'm I'm so glad sports are back in general. It has been a hard year. It was even harder trying to get through that pandemic with no sports. Um, this weekend has been great for sports, and I got to give a shout out. I'm a golf fan. Uh, shout out to uh, Bryson DeChambeau on winning the U.S. Open, a major championship this week. Uh, that um, huge compliment. You know, that's a great accomplishment getting a major in a golf. I mean, we had the U.S. Open on. We've had playoff basketball. We've had NFL football. Uh, me and Shad watched a good high school football game Friday night. You know, shout out to the Dora Bulldogs. Uh, you, you played your heart out. It's just too many mistakes, guys. Bounce back strong. Um, I mean, college is, you know, we got the SEC coming this coming weekend. The tide is going to be rolling. Um, I hopefully, Kentucky, go big blue. I hope they roll over. The Auburn Tigers. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, uh, are y'all uh, done? With the, the with Cowboys? Y'all? The Cowboys. I actually thought, mm. like, the Cowboys really just turned the ball over way too much in the first in the first half. That's what it was. Yeah. The Cowboys just turned the ball over, and uh, when you turn the ball over and keep giving good good field position to pros. I mean, Matt Ryan, a former MVP, you can't keep on giving him great field position. He's going to score. And uh, He's got one of the really greatest wide receivers to ever play the game in Julio Jones. And, and see, that's, and see, that's what happened in that, in that first half is we just gave it away. They kept punching the ball out. Uh, Zeke fumbled twice, and then I think we fumbled on a kickoff or a punt return one time, and then we fumbled one other time. So I'm like, you know, we just we just was turning the ball over too much, but we came How back. Crazy! How crazy was it? We recovered an onside kick. Well, the thing like, about it is the Falcons sit there and looked at it like, like they ain't got good sense. They sit you, there and you looked got at to it. Fire, you you should fire your special teams coach after that game. Like, like you can come up and get and the ball. They sit there and looked at the ball spin around like they was playing spin the bottle, and I was like, <laughs> I was like. Hey, they're not gonna jump on the onside kick. Get it, get it, and we got it. And once we got it, you know, we made one big completion and and we won field goal range. So shout out that to was CD a big Lamb. win. That was a big win because we weren't supposed to win that game. That was a big uh, win. All right, enough of the Cowboys. Uh, we we got go lines. Uh, of course, we got crushed today. Like I, I was was playing to get, actually playing the game with Blake earlier today. We was up fourteen to three, and I said, Blake, I'm not even gonna get excited. Because I'm going to check the score, and uh, we'll be getting our ass whooped. And in uh, dramatic fashion, we were. 
So, uh, <laughs> well, y'all, y'all are probably playing the this year's MVP. You know, I don't and care who we playing. Project. It don't matter. It's gonna happen. Now. It's happen. It happened. Sh- y'all season. should have not fired Jim Caldwell. Yeah, I agree. We gotta get Jim, Jim, uh, Jimmy back. All right. Well, we uh, Jim wasn't doing nothing. He was nine and seven. I take doing that. better than what they yeah. got now. Jim, to be honest with you, Jim, no football though. Yeah. He knows football. <clears throat> that y'all should have kept Jim. All right. Well, uh, we're gonna wrap it up as we do every episode. This is zero zero five. Um, we gonna leave the people with an album, uh, in a movie or a series, or keeping the theme of this podcast a video game to leave them with to play. Listen to a watch, starting with Kendall. All right, so here we go. You need to go and watch. Um, you need to go watch the uh, the Devil All the Time. Pretty good movie. wasn't bad. Uh, a throwback movie though that I watched just recently with my wife is Double Jeopardy, and it's got uh, Tommy Lee, uh, uh, Tommy Lee Jones, and um, uh, uh, Ashley Judd, I believe, in it. That's a very good movie. Ship. It is very, very good movie. Um, you need to listen to the new Justin Bieber song that's coming straight from Lady Beck. Holy, it's got Chance the Rapper in it. Good. Low key, I like Justin Bieber. I was supposed to go to his concert this year, but because of the pandemic, it got canceled. You can actually go watch, listen to his album. That's a good album to listen to, his newest album. Uh, so that's uh, that's definitely what you need to do. Uh, all right, uh, Blake, go ahead, Blake. Look at the Blake. So, for the ladies, uh, <laughs> listen to uh, Boy in Space, Cold. It's uh, featured on the 2K soundtrack. Uh, you know, I've been uh, been blasting that here lately, you know, uh, for the ladies. And they, they seem to be liking it. Uh, but anything I do, they like normally. Uh, shit. Lost connection. There, I'm back. Am I back? Yeah, you good. Yeah, you All right. Yeah, and then uh, movies. Uh, I recently watched the second Jumanji movie. It's pretty good. Okay. Uh, it was funny. It had parts. Check it out. All right, shot. What about you? Uh, this weekend, I um uh, I rewatched um Christopher Robin. And it is absolutely delightful. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Wouldn't it? <laughs> delightful. It, Christopher Robin, I, I, like, no lie. And I know sometimes I can be prisoner at the moment. Um, but Christopher Robin is one of, if not the most charming movie that I've ever watched in my life. It just charms you. Like the whole time you're watching it, that's just uh, the word for it. It's just a charming, charming movie. Winnie the Pooh always been charming. I grew up a Winnie the Pooh fan. I'm not a big, I, I'm such a big Disney fan. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of new Disney live action remakes, but Christopher Robin is a great one. It's a great movie. It's charming, it's delightful. Check it out with your family. Check it out with your kids, whatever. But it's a it's a delightful movie. And if you hadn't seen Mulan, check Mulan out because it's good too. You want to you want to do an album or that's it? Uh, an album. Uh, this this week I've been listening to the Chronic two thousand one old school. Okay. Um. So uh, Eminem got some of the greatest verses of all time on there. So uh, Jay Z wrote half the album, whatever you know. So uh, <laughs> go listen to the Chronic. 2001 recap all right well <clears throat> i'm gonna leave the people with actually a video game to keep keep the theme uh this year star wars the fallen order that's a really really good probably the best star wars game i ever played in my life so that's a really really good game i mean it's obviously it's one player so you don't you can't play with nobody but it's a really really good game the album i'm gonna leave with you people uh, is the evolution of Robin Thicke one of the greatest R and B albums ever created in my top five, most definitely. Um, other than that, do you guys want to leave something with the people positive uh, to exit this thing out? Everybody, stay safe. Uh, keep wearing your mask, um, and uh, keep. Keep everybody that you know in your prayers because everybody 
is going through something and dealing with something in 2020. I mean, we know that that's a cliche saying everybody's going through something, but we be mean it in 2020. Everybody really is going through something in 2020. Every family is being touched by something. Uh, so keep all of the COVID patients in your prayers, everybody in the hospital room in your prayers, and all of the families out there in bereavement for the loss of a loved one. Uh, keep, keep them all in your prayers. I'll leave the people with something positive. Our kids are getting to go back to school four days a week now, and we ain't got to do none of that virtual learning stuff. When the kids oh, going back to school? That's a positive note. Four days a week now, thank God. You when? Know? When that start? It starts September the 28th. We got the call this past week. I was oh. so happy. Oh, my goodness. Teaching these youngins. I, I can raise them, but, man, teaching them schoolwork? Mm. Miss What about Woo. you, Blake? Uh, I tell the people to hold on, the pain ends, have hope, uh, keep the head up, you know, and uh, be kind to one another. We we got this big world. We we share it with everybody, and we gotta gotta do better. All right. Well, peace, love, and light. That's all I'm gonna leave with y'all. Um, this is uh, over... oh yeah, we get on them sticks. Uh, this yeah. is over trifecta, and we are out.